jump, 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 start first grade, jump, 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 start first grade, jump, 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 start first grade, jump, jump, jump. Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Little Bumble Bear's Let's Play. I'm Kristen Little Bumble Bear, and I am so excited to finally be bringing the Jumpstart series to the channel. I know a lot of you have been requesting it, and I know I have personally have been waiting to start this series because I grew up with all these games. I love them. They were a huge part of my childhood. Um, I think they're probably one of the best edutainment game series ever. All the games are so fun, so nostalgic, and I'm just, yes, I'm so excited hey, to bring these smarty. to you. Click on the door to come inside. We'll be there in a second. But yes, please make sure you give this video a thumbs up, because Jumpstart is awesome. Leave a comment down below telling me all of your Jumpstart memories. And subscribe for more Jumpstart coming soon. <laughs> also, I stream on Twitch, so if you watch Twitch streams, Come join my community, follow my channel, it's Little Bumble Bear, and I have social media. I have Twitter and Instagram, you're welcome to follow those. And I have a Discord server for all of my subscribers to come hang out with me. If you'd like to be in it, just let me know in the comments and I'll get you an invite link. But yes, without further ado, let's start with Jumpstart First Grade. And don't worry, I will be making my way towards the... I see you the updated version from 2000, but we're gonna start off with the 1995 version first. So don't worry guys. I'll be getting through as many Jumpstart games as I'm able to. All right, let's begin. Welcome to Jumpstart School. If you've been here before, go ahead and click on your name. If you're new to Jumpstart, it's easy. Just start typing your name. All right. When you're done, click on the doorknob. Let's go. He's more than a mascot. He'll help you a whole lot. He is really super silly. He's Frankie. Good afternoon. Hi, I'm Frankie. I'm the Jumpstart mascot. You can always count on me. I really know the ropes. Just click on me for help. There's a lot to do in the classroom. Just click on anything that you see. Let's start with the books. Look at all these fun books. Click on the book that you want to read. Mother Goose Rhymes. This part of the book is called the Table of Contents. It lists all the stories that are in this book. Click on the story that you want to read. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Our player is only 100 points away from winning a brand new reading cap. See if you can collect them all. Ooh. All right, let's start reading. Humpty Dumpty. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Whoa, 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 whoa. What word rhymes with wall, car, baseball bat, doll, egg? That's right. Jack be nimble. Jack be nimble. Jack, be quick. Jack, jump over the candlestick. Jack, be nimble. Jack, be quick. Jack, jump over the candlestick. Little Miss Muffet. Little Miss Muffet sat on a tuffet, eating her curds and whey. 
Along came a spider, who sat down beside her, and frightened Miss Muffet away. <gasps> what frightened Miss Muffet? Mouse, spider, snake, dog. Correct. Little Bo Peep, little Bo Peep has lost her sheep, and can't tell where to find them. Leave them alone, and they'll come home wagging their tails behind them. What did Little Bo Peep lose? Sheep. Correct. Little Jack Horner, Little Jack Horner sat in a corner, eating his Christmas pie. He put in his thumb and pulled out a plum and said, What a good boy am I. Where did little Jack Horner sit? Correct. Pat a cake. Pat a cake, pat a cake, baker's man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Pat it and prick it and mark it with a B and put it in the oven for baby and me. <coughs> what did the baker's man make? Cake. <laughs> you got it. Jack and Jill. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack fell down and broke his crown, and Jill came tumbling after. <laughs> Who went up the hill? <laughs> you got it! Hickory Dickory Dock. Hickory Dickory Dock. The mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one, the mouse ran down. Hickory dickory dock. What ran up the clock? Correct. Georgie Porgy. Georgie Porgy, pudding and pie, kissed the girls and made them cry. When the boys came out to play, Georgie Porgy ran away. When Georgie kissed them, what did the girls do? Run away, cry. Correct. Hey diddle diddle. Hey diddle diddle, the cat and the fiddle. The cow jumped over the moon. The little dog laughed to see such a sport and the dish ran away with the spoon. What did the cow jump over? Cat, dog, moon, fiddle. That's right. All Humpty right. Dumpty. We did all the little nursery rhymes. Okay, now a hog and a frog on a jog. A hog and a frog on a jog. Pap the Dog by Mark Beckwith. I have a dog I call Pap who likes to sit on my lap. He wants to be fed when I am in bed. So I just toss Pap a scrap. <coughs> Pap the dog is quite small, but he can stand on top of a ball. He whines and he begs up on two legs. I do hope that Pap will not fall. Can you finish this sentence? I have a dog I call... Correct! The Size Poem by Mark Beckwith. My pet pig, he's huge, he's so big. Oh, how he likes to eat. When pig has his lunch, he eats such a bunch that he cannot even see his feet. <laughs> My pet cat is not very fat. She's fine, not big, and round. In fact, she's so thin, just bones, fur, and skin. She probably weighs less than a pound. The oddest one yet, he's not even a pet. Not fat, not thin, not small, but the muscles he's got, and he's got quite a lot. It's my dad, he's seven feet tall. 
Your dad is seven feet tall? Whoa. What pet is bigger, the pig or the cat? P That's right. The ball that Megan threw by Mark Beckwith. Megan Wong had a ball that she liked to throw. Once she pitched it hard and fast, the ball would really go. One day, Megan threw the ball much further than before, further than the picket fence, past the street, and more. The ball kept going in the air, beyond the big oak tree, beyond the flock of birds up there, beyond what I could see. Perhaps the ball just kept on going, lost without a trace. Do you think the ball that Megan threw went to outer space? What word has the same beginning sound as the word ball, horse, book, lake? Correct. I cannot eat this broccoli by Glynis Campbell. I cannot eat this broccoli. I have a wobbly tooth. And chewing it would only make my tooth even more loose. I cannot eat these peas or corn. I have no teeth to chew them. I have to keep the few I have. I can't afford to lose them. Mm, 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 mm. I cannot eat these Brussels sprouts. I'm very sad to say. I cannot eat the pickled beets or summer squash souffle. I cannot eat the carrots or the turnips or tomatoes. I cannot eat the lima beans. I cannot eat potatoes. Mm -mm. What's that you say? Peach pie you say? Peach pie if I can finish? Well, maybe if I'm careful, I could try a little spinach. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Finish the sentence. I have a wobbly. <laughs> you got it. Do Not Grab the Pot by Mark Beckwith. Son, do not grab that pot. Why not, Dad? Why not? That pot is too hot. How hot, Dad? How hot? A lot, son. A lot. Dad, how hot is a lot? A lot is just hot. Hot turns to warm when it cools. But how cool is cool? If you feel cool... Get out of the pool. Yes, but if you feel cool... Pull on socks made of wool. Son, if you feel cool... Then why fought that drool? Okay, I will do the asking. What is cooler than cool? It's cold, I'm no fool. Okay, what is cold? Snow that you hold. What else is cold? You when you scold. Son. So I am told. Frost is cold. Ice is cold. I am not cold. I am warm. But why are you so hot? I am not. Okay, Dad. Now I know what is hot and what is not. I will not grab that pot. I felt like I was listening to a Dr. Seuss story somehow. Can you finish this sentence? That pot is too hot. How hot, Dad? How black? Correct. The Hog by Mark Beckwith. A frog and a hog went for a jog. But at a log, the hog had to stop. Hop went the frog over the log. But the poor hog did not hop. <coughs> Along ran a man. He said, I am Dan. Hop the log, hog, if you can. The hog said to Dan, I do not think I can. Dan, will you give me a hand? Hmm. <coughs> Dan said to Hog, You are not a frog, but do not be stopped by that log. Since hogs are big pigs, and all pigs can dig, 
Just dig and go under the log. <laughs> Under the log dug the hog, and he went on with his jog. The hog said thanks to the man. Now when the hog gets to a log, he can go on with his jog. Yes, he can. Where did the frog and the hog stop? <laughs> you got it. Okay, we got all the stories done in this book. A bedtime story. Roy G. Biff by Gwyneth Campbell I met a boy named Roy G. Biff. Can you guess where he might live? On a rainbow in the sky, in a castle way up high. Well, he took me home last March, pointing out the rainbow's arch. All the colors that you see get their names, he said, from me. For I'm Roy G. Biv, he cried. Then he let me peek inside. See the stripes, the boy exclaimed. Match the letters of my name. <coughs> R is red, the roses wear it. O is orange, like a carrot. Y is yellow as a bee. There's my cameo. G is green like a baobab tree. B is blue, a robin in flight. I'm in every entertainment game. I is game. indigo, sky at night. V is violet like the flowers, and all of them come out after showers. R O Y G B I V. Roy G Viv then shook my hand. I must go. You understand. The clouds are moving from the sky. Time for us to say goodbye. So I watched him fade away. I know he'll come back someday. If you look where rainbows live, maybe you'll see Roy G. Biv. Who is the main character of this story? <laughs> you got it! Peace Man by Mark Beckwith. This is a story about the superhero, Peace Man. Peace Man was dressed in a shiny gray outfit. He had long black hair with bright green eyes. His powers seemed to come from his eyes and the way that he spoke. Peace Man had the power to solve any problem, stop any fight, and make any two enemies become friends. But his powers did not seem to work on many people at once, but only on one or two people at a time. One day, Peace Man came to a school where there was a problem. A group of kids wearing blue jackets were yelling at a bunch of kids wearing black jackets. The black jackets were screaming too. They needed the help of Peace Man. Peace Man stepped between the black jackets and the blue jackets and said, look at me and listen to me. Most of the angry kids looked into his eyes. Some even started to calm down. But just then, Tony, a tall boy with the blue jackets, yelled, forget it. Zack, in the black jacket, shouted, forget you, blue jacket. Peace Man turned his eyes toward Tony and Zack. Using his peace powers, he talked gently to the two boys. Soon, Peace Man got Tony and Zack talking to each other in a gentle way. After a while, both boys were laughing. Tony went back to the Blue Jackets and spoke to his friends. Zack returned to the Black Jackets and talked. It seemed that none of them could remember why they were angry at the other group of kids. They just learned to hate each other. <laughs> now the black jackets didn't seem so bad to the blue jackets. And the blue jackets did not seem like bad kids to the black jackets. In fact, thanks to Peace Man, they all got together and formed a hockey team. They called it Black and blue. 
What word starts with the same sound as peace man, door, puppy, king, rake? Correct. The Friendship by Glynis Campbell. There's no one here to play with, Timmy shouted to the sky. There's no one here to play with me, he muttered with a sigh. I think I'll build a rocket ship and fly out into space. There has to be a friend for me in some remoter place. He rocketed to Mercury, the planet near the sun. But it was far too hot for friends, and he found not a one. Tim flew his ship to Venus. It was filled with poison gas. And Mars was far too dusty. So he piloted on past. He looked for friends on Jupiter. The planet was too big. Then he got caught in Saturn's rings and did a whirligig. And Uranus and Neptune had no friends on them at all. Pluto, furthest from the sun, was cold and bleak and small. So sadly, Timmy turned his ship and headed back for home. He'd found no friends in outer space, and still he was alone. But as he flew his ship to Earth, it bumped and rattled hard. It tumbled from the sky and crashed into his neighbor's yard. And standing in the clearing smoke, he found another child. A boy building a rocket ship. Tim saw him, and he smiled. I wouldn't waste my time, he said. No, not if I were you. There are friends enough on planet Earth. I'm Tim. How do you do? Oh, that was cute. What planet did Timmy go to first? Mercury, Saturn, Sun, Moon. <laughs> you got it. Bedtime Story by Glynis Campbell. Be careful when you read in bed, for I have seen it happen. I've seen a girl forget to close her book while she was napping. And do you know what happened as the wind blew through the pages? The girl fell into chapter one. Into the Middle Ages. Oh, that's cool. Oh, she had great adventures, saving castles, slaying dragons, until she blew to chapter two with pioneers in wagons. And then while she was heading west across the blazing prairie, she stumbled into chapter three, where it was dark and scary. A pack of witches in a cave were cooking up a potion when she escaped to chapter four and landed in the ocean. A pirate ship came sailing by to pull her from the water. The pirate captain drew his sword, but just before he caught her, she dove right into chapter five, where history would spin her into the claws of a dinosaur that wanted girl for dinner. But just before the nasty beast could clamp its jaws around her, the wind picked up and closed her book, and home is where I found her. <laughs> you may not be so fortunate, if you don't heed my warning. So close your bedtime book tonight. You'll thank me in the morning. I love that story. What letter is missing from this word? R, U, A. Correct. All right, another book done. Ooh, the candy machine. Let's read this one next. The candy machine. The First Circus Act by Mark Towner. Ladies and gentlemen, the ringmaster said, out first are the horses. 
but the clown came instead. No, no, cried the ringmaster, as he tried to explain. You come out last, like the caboose on a train. I see, said the clown. I'm not first in the show. I come on last, before the crowd goes. You'll come out last. That's right. You're not first, you're last, so now go. So we can get on with the first of our show. What came out first? The clown, tightrope walker, or el- <laughs> You got it! Congratulations! You just won a brand new reading cap. Ooh! Click on the cap that you want to take. Click Ooh. on the left and right arrows to see more caps. Which one, guys? These all look so cool. Hmm. Oh, just the two pages? Okay. Um, which one? Which one? Which one? Which one? They're all so cool. What's your favorite bottle cap? I think I want to go with the Bob Ross Happy Little Trees one first. I pick this one. You now have one reading cap. There are 30 in all. See if you can collect them all. Okay. I The first think... circus act. Late. No. That's Shopping with Dollars by there we Mark go. Beckwith. 5 10 15 20. I can buy four shoes with all of this money. <laughs> 25 30 35 40 I'd like a grand hat that looks kind of sporty yeah! 45 50 55 60 I'll buy this huge purse it sure is nifty <laughs> 65 70 75 80 I take a large dress cuz I'm a large lady Eighty five ninety ninety five one hundred. Now I'm a well dressed cow, big and rotundred. <laughs> Which is the right way to count to fifteen by fives? Five, fifteen? That's right. Baby Toes by Glynis Campbell. Ten little babies wearing no clothes, giggling and wriggling and counting their toes. Each little baby has ten little toes, ten little piggies right under my nose. <coughs> ten, twenty, thirty. This baby's toes are dirty. Forty, fifty, sixty. This baby's very wiggly. 70, 80, 90. This baby's toes are tiny. <coughs> 10 little babies with 100 toes. Tickle them, tickle them. Ouch! Kicked my nose. <coughs> Ooh. Which is the right way to count to 40 by tens? 20, 30, 40, 50, 10, 20, 30, 40, 40, 10, 30, 20. Correct. Cents spent by Glennis Campbell. I've got a penny, a shiny copper penny. I've got a penny. What can I buy? 
One cent, one cent, I can buy a gumball. One cent, one cent, now my penny's all spent. I've got a nickel, a shiny nickel nickel. I've got a nickel, what can I buy? Five cents, five cents, I can buy a sticker. Five cents, five cents, now my nickel's all spent. I've got a dime, a shiny silver dime. I've got a dime, what can I buy? 10 cents, 10 cents, I can buy a pencil. 10 cents, 10 cents, now my money's all spent. In the story, what can you buy for a penny? Gumball, lollipop, hot dog, dog. <laughs> you got it! 10 Little Monkeys by Glynis Campbell. Ten little monkeys in a line, waiting to swing on the big fat vine. <laughs> <laughs> the first little monkey is very fat. The second little monkey has a Panama hat. The third little monkey has to sneeze. The fourth little monkey is slapping his knees. The fifth little monkey has a great big grin. The sixth little monkey has a sharp hat pin. The seventh little monkey is counting his toes. The eighth little monkey is picking his nose. The ninth little monkey yells, Not a peep! The tenth little monkey is fast asleep! <laughs> What word goes with the number one? First, fourth, ninth? <laughs> you got it! Popcorn Popping by Glynis Campbell. Get the popcorn, get the pot. Pour the oil, make it hot. There's no stopping popcorn popping. Just a little makes a lot. Hee <laughs> hee! Popcorn popping one by one. There's enough for everyone. One, two, three, four. No, don't eat it off the floor. <laughs> Popcorn popping two by two. Some for me and some for you. Two, four, six, eight. Not for doggy. Whoops, too late. Popcorn popping three by three. More for you and more for me. Three, six, nine, twelve. Hey, don't eat it all yourself. <coughs> Popcorn popping four by four. Everybody wants some more. Four, eight, twelve, sixteen. Time to lick our fingers clean. <coughs> Popcorn popping five by five, hopping up like it's alive. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. That's enough now. We've had plenty. Which is the right way to count by twos? Five, ten. <laughs> you got it. The Candy Machine by Mark Beckwith. If I give you five pennies, will you give me a nickel? Mara asked Beth as she held out her brown coins. Yes, said Beth. Five pennies are the same as one nickel. But why do you need a nickel? I want to buy candy from that machine, Mara said as she made the coin trade. The machine will not take pennies. Mara thanked Beth and went to buy her candy. Beth, if I give you ten pennies, will you give me a dime? Mara asked when she came back. I need more coins to buy the candy. Sure, Beth said. Ten pennies are the same as a dime. Here you go. Mara thanked Beth, 
then walk to the candy machine once more. Oh, Beth, said Mara when she returned. I still need more coins for the candy machine. Can I give you 25 pennies for a quarter? Mara held out her hand with the 25 pennies and took the quarter from Beth. Beth, Mara called out as she walked back. I know, said Beth. You want to trade another five pennies for a nickel. No, said Mara. Then you want to trade two nickels for a dime, said Beth. No, said Mara. Do you want a quarter for five nickels, asked Beth. Mara shook her head. Well, then you must want to trade two dimes and a nickel for a quarter, said Beth. Not at all, said Mara. I just want to know if you want to eat some of this candy. How many pennies is the same as one dime? Ten. So Correct. Counting eggs by Glennis Campbell. Farmer Brown is counting eggs with his country cousin. How many have the chickens laid? Hope he finds a dozen. <laughs> with the buck buck here at the break of dawn, Farmer Brown has just found one. With the cheap cheap there and a cock a doodle doo, Farmer Brown has just found two. With the cluck cluck here, cause the range is free, Farmer Brown has just found three. Mm -mm. With the chick chick there by the hen house door, Farmer Brown has just found four. With the buck buck here by the old beehive, Farmer Brown has just found five. With the cheap cheap there from the baby chicks, Farmer Brown has just found six. <laughs> With the cluck cluck here while the tractor's revving, Farmer Brown has just found seven. Chick chick there by the farmyard gate, Farmer Brown has just found eight. With the buck buck here by the pumpkin vine, Farmer Brown has just found nine. <laughs> With the cheap cheap there from the old gray hen, Farmer Brown has just found ten. With a cluck cluck here all the way to heaven, Farmer Brown has found eleven. Chick chick there on the highest shelf, Farmer Brown has just found twelve. <laughs> a dozen, a dozen. He's found an even dozen. But wait, what's this? Could it be an extra egg? No. With a crack crack here by the country cousin, Farmer Brown has an even dozen. How many eggs are there in a dozen? Correct. All right, we did all the counting. Ooh, the lark in the park. The lark in the park. Babies by Mark Towner. Female dogs have puppies. A kitten is a baby cat, but there are more baby animal names than just that. <coughs> a cub is a baby to a mama bear. A goat has a kid for which she must care. <coughs> a deer has a baby called a fawn, you see. Mommy and Daddy had a baby. They called it me. What kind of animal has a baby called a cub, deer, bear, dog? That's right. Bears by Mark Towner. Many bears are big. Some of them are brown. And some sleep all winter when there's snow on the ground. Some bears live up north. They are white and love the cold. They are called polar bears and are very playful, I'm told.
All bears have fur coats that always stay put. But they never wear shoes, because they're always barefoot. No, good one. Barefoot. What kind of bears are white and love the cold? Polar bear, teddy bear, koala bear. It's a teddy bear. I'm kidding. <laughs> you got it. Animal Talk by Mark Towner. While walking through the zoo, I heard the animals talk. Ba ba, said the sheep, and the parrot said squawk. <laughs> the snake said hi with a long, long hiss, and the lion roared. Now get ready for this. I heard the hyena, he started to laugh, when I stood to listen to the long-necked giraffe. The sound started low, and the giraffe is so tall, I heard the sound later, or never at all. <laughs> What letter is missing from this word? E. <laughs> you got it! Animals on the Move by Mark Towner. The bunny doesn't run. He moves with a hop. But the horse can't hop. He gallops, clip-clop. <laughs> a snake could never gallop. He can only slide. And an eagle in the air will flap and then glide. Now here's one to guess. See if you know who starts off crawling, then walks. That's right, it's you. Sid the Slug. Oh, I missed a question. Now here's one to guess. See if you know who starts off crawling, then walks. That's right, it's you. What animal hops? Bunny, snake. Correct. Sid the Slug by Mark Beckwith. Sid was a small slug. Sid liked to sit in the sand at the salty sea. Sid swam in the salty sea. But the salty sea made Sid sick. So Sid was sad. You see, Salt is not so good for small slugs. Soon, Sid saw a snail. The snail said, Say, I am Sam. I see that you are a sad slug. Sid said, Yes, I love to swim in the salty sea, but the salt seems to make small slugs sort of sick. Sam was a smart snail, so Sam said to Sid, go sled on the snow. There is no salt in snow, and snow is so soft like sand. Snow is solid, so you don't swim in snow, but you can slide a sled on snow. Oh. Sid set off to seek the snow. Sid saw snow and slid with the sled. Sid loved the snow. Sid liked to slide on the sled, just as he liked to swim in the sea. But Sid did not get sick in the snow, so Sid sat on the sled and smiled. What did Sam the snail tell Sid the slug to do so that he wouldn't be sick? Go sled in the snow, swim in the sea. <laughs> you got it! The Lark in the Park by Glynis Campbell. I am a bird. I'm called a lark. I was born in this nest in this tree in this park. From an egg I was hatched in this nest in this tree. And my mother and father took good care of me. My mother sat by me when I was too cool. And my father brought worms till my tummy was full. I ate and I ate till I grew big and strong. And I got all my feathers and learned the lark song. And now I'm too big for this nest in this tree. Winter is coming, so south we must flee. 
I know I'm a bird, and I know I must fly. I know I must try out my wings in the sky. So I've tried and I've tried, week after week. I've flapped and I've flapped and I've crashed on my beak. Enough of this flapping, enough of this fuss. If I must go south, then I'm taking the bus. Where was the lark born? Bird's nest, hospital, zoo. <laughs> you got it. All right, a pretty planet. A pretty planet. A pretty planet by Mark Beck with As I fly in my rocket ship, black space is all I see. Nothing but darkness and a few white stars far away. Wait, I see a little ball. It is a blue ball. I will take my rocket ship closer. <laughs> that blue ball is a planet with great oceans of water. It is white at the top and bottom of the ball. That must be frozen water. I do see some areas of land. I will take my rocket ship closer. I see lots of green. That must be plants and trees. I have never seen anything like it. I will take my rocket ship closer. Now I see animals and people moving around. They are brown, red, yellow, black, and white. So much color. This is such a pretty planet. I wonder what it is called. In the story, what are the areas of green on the Earth? That's right. The new boring class by Mark Beckwith. A new boy starred in my class today. His name is Juan. Juan is kind of different from me, but kind of the same. He seems nice. Juan told me his mom and dad are from a place called Mexico. Juan is lucky. He speaks English like me, and he also speaks Spanish. <laughs> Juan is kind of different from me, but kind of the same. He says some words differently than I do. He loves to play soccer just like me. Juan's hair is black, and my hair is light brown. He likes to be silly. I like to be silly too. Juan is kind of different from me, but kind of the same. I guess everyone is that way. I hope he will be my friend. <laughs> What letter is missing from this word? Oh, correct. I am Irish by Mark Beckwith. How are you? My name is Jill. Let us be friends, if you will. I live in the fog beyond the wet bog in the valley near the castle on the hill. Potatoes I plant, and I dig. Over there, near the barn, is my pig. When the fiddlers play on St. Patrick's Day, that pig will dance quite a jig. Look at the hair on my head. See it is wavy and red. My friend, I am proud, and I say it aloud. I am Irish, born and bred. Vegemite, look at the hair. Vegemite, look at the hair on my head. See it is wavy and red. My friend, I am proud, and I say it aloud. I am Irish, born and bred. 
What word doesn't sound like fog? Bog. Correct. Vegemite by Glynis Campbell. Vegemite, Vegemite, we eat Vegemite. Come and we'll sail ya to Australia. <laughs> Vegemite, Vegemite, we eat Vegemite. We like barbecues, we have kangaroos. Vegemite, Vegemite, we eat Vegemite. We have crocodiles push for miles and miles. <coughs> Vegemite, Vegemite, we eat Vegemite. We have billabongs, we sing bonza songs in Australia. Dreaming all day and night of Vegemite. Vegemite, we love Vegemite. What letter is missing from this word? E. R. P. Correct. Congo Safari by Glynis Campbell. Come with me to Congo, to the river Zaire. Come with me to Congo. Join me on safari. Come on, Jack. Come on, Jill. Come on, Tim and Tamara. You can shoot the animals, but only with your camera. See the baby monkeys swinging through the trees? See the hippopotamus mud up to his knees. Look at all the elephants splashing in the water. There's a mother chimpanzee playing with her daughter. Come with me to Congo, to the great savanna. Come with me to Congo, Tim and Kate and Hannah. Look at all the wildebeests feeding on the grasses. See the great rhinoceros? Careful as he passes. There's a zebra on the plains and his friend giraffes. If you listen closely, you can hear hyenas laugh. Come with me to Congo, to my people's city. Come with me to Brazzaville. It is very pretty. See the chickens in our yard and the goats and sheep? We raise pigs for market day. I have one to keep. Uh-oh, do you see that beast? Fiercer than the others? Stay away. Don't get too close. It's my baby brother. <coughs> what word sounds like the word giraffe? Correct. Origami Sayonara by Grinus Campbell. Hello to you. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. Hello. My name is Yoko from Japan. I live in Tokyo. I live here with my haha. My haha is my mother. And here on the tatami mat is Kenichi, my brother. Sometimes we play computer games or ride our bikes for fun or play rock, scissors, paper. We call it Jan Ken Pan. Sometimes we practice kado, putting flowers in a bunch. Sometimes we help our haha make the miso soup for lunch. But what we really love to do is fold bright paper squares into the most amazing shapes, birds and fish and bears. It's origami that we love. Our chichi, father, taught us to make origami dogs and cats with paper that he brought us. We'll show him what we made today. We'll set them on his chair. So when our chichi comes home, he'll be sure to see them there. I think I hear him at the door. He's hard to miss, you see. He is a sumo wrestler, as big as big can be. Our Chichi is a sumo champ. He's very, very fat. He must have wrestled hard today, not looking where he sat. Uh-oh. I wish he'd looked before. I guess we'll have to make some more. Our origami's flat. Uh-oh. There goes the Chichi. What material do you use when you do origami, water, snow? That's right. I always loved the, uh, the Japanese story. <laughs> OK. 
Okay. The teddy bear tea. The teddy bear tea. Oh, soda pop. Soda pop by Glenn I also Campbell. loved this story. Soda pop, soda pop, bubbling up. Twelve little bubbles in my cup. Eleven pop, ten pop, nine pop, eight. Bubbles make the soda pop great. Soda pop, soda pop, bubbling up. Eight little bubbles in my cup. Seven pop, six pop, five pop, four. When it's gone, may I have more? Soda pop, soda pop, bubbling up. Four little bubbles in my cup. Three pop, two pop, one pop, none. No more bubbles, no more fun. Which is the right way to count backwards from five? Three? That's right! Triangles, Circles, and Rectangles by Mark Beckwith. Hello, my name is Dylan. My teacher said my homework today was to find some examples of triangles, circles, and rectangles. This is gonna be hard. Where am I gonna find these shapes? Oh well. Maybe I will think of some by the time I walk home. Let me see. A triangle has three sides. I've got to think hard about where I can find a triangle. Wow, that pine tree is so much taller than the roof of that house. That reminds me. My mom left a piece of pie for me at home. Maybe I'll think of an example of a triangle there. Mm. A circle is something round. Let me just check the time on my watch. I can't wait to get home to have a nice cold glass of milk and maybe the whole pie. I hope I can find an example of a circle at home. Mm. What was the other shape? Oh yeah, a rectangle. That's really gonna be a hard one to find. Oh look, I'm home already. I'll wipe my feet on the mat, open the door, and sit down at the table and have my snack. Maybe then I will think of an example of a rectangle. Let me see, triangles, circles, and rectangles. Where am I going to find those shapes? Click on the circle. House. Gumball. Door. <laughs> you got it! Odd Todd and Even Stephen by Glynis Campbell. Here is Stephen. He likes even. He likes counting two by two. Two, four, six, eight. Even numbers make them blue. This is Todd. He likes odd. All the numbers in between. One, three, five, seven. Odd numbers make them green. They will do a show for you, taking turns, green and blue. Todd, Stephen, Todd, Stephen. Odd, even, odd, even. One for Todd, two for Stephen, three for Todd, four for Stephen, five for Todd, six for Stephen, seven for Todd, eight for Stephen. Time to take the numbers home. Put them in their pockets. One, three, five, seven. All the odds jump in Todd's. Two, four, six, eight. All the evens jump in Stephen's. Say goodbye. Please applaud. Even Stephen, odd Todd. Which number is odd? 
four. Correct. The Teddy Bear Tea by Glynis Campbell. Three o'clock. Time for the Teddy Bear Tea. How many guests will there be? Miss Patty Panda is coming alone. That makes one at the Teddy Bear Tea. The Sugar Bear Sisters make two more. One plus two more. That makes three. <coughs> Mr. Murphy Mouse has come a bit late. Three plus one more. That makes four. Harrison Hamster is bringing his wife. Four plus two more. Six are at the door. <coughs> Gertrude Goose and Gabby Gander. Six plus two add up to eight. Two more guests, the Piggly Pair. Make it ten at the garden gate. Welcome, welcome, one and all. Welcome to the table. Gather round. Ten little dishes, ten little cups, ten lovely guests. Wait, what's that sound? <coughs> There's another knock at the cottage door. Goodness me, who could it be? Sammy Skunk has invited himself. No more guests at the Teddy Bear Tea. Hey! How many bears is one bear plus two bears? One, three... Correct! The One That Got Away by Glynis Campbell. Daddy took me fishing. Fishing in the stream. And what do you know? I caught the biggest fish you've ever seen. Can you guess how big my fish was? Can you estimate its size? No? Then let me tell you. You would not believe your eyes. Much bigger than a sandwich. Much bigger than my skates. Much bigger than my lunchbox or my cat or dad's free weights. Much bigger than my backpack. Much bigger than my bike. Much bigger than my school desk or the blankets grandma's like. Much bigger than the family car, much bigger than our pool, much bigger than an elephant, and bigger than my school. Much bigger than a dinosaur, much bigger than a tree. In fact, I'd say the fish I caught was bigger than the sea. Ah. I would have let you look at it, my fish of great big size. I would have let you take a peek. You would have been surprised. Yes, I'd have let you look at it. But I'm afraid to say, the biggest fish you've ever seen somehow just got away. Where does a fish live? House. For... That's right! Who Has More? By Glynis Campbell. Jelly beans, jelly beans, can you guess? Who has more? Who has less? You have three beans, I have four. You have less, I have more. Nya, 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 I have more. Nya, 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 nya. Lollipops, lollipops, can you guess? Who has more? Who has less? I have six pops, you have four, you have less, I have more. Nya, 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 I have more. Nya, 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 nya. This girl's being a little brat. Bubblegum, bubblegum, can you guess? Who has more? Who has less? You have two sticks, I have four, you have less. I have more. Nya, 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 nya. I have more. Nya, 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 nya. Eat it up, eat it up. Can you guess? Who ate more? Who ate less? You ate zero. I ate twelve. I don't feel so good myself. Blah, 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 blah. Please, no more.
blah, blah, blah. Oh, whoops, there was a little... The teddy bear tea. There was a little question at the Who end. Who has more jelly bean lolly bubble gum? Eat it up, eat it up. Can you guess? Who ate more? Who ate less? You ate zero. I ate 12. I don't feel so good myself. Blah, 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 blah. Please, no more. Blah, blah, blah. Which hand has more jelly beans in it? Four jelly beans. Correct. Okay, I think we have one more book. The Grandfather Clock. Play for School by Mark Beckwith. Here I am at the gate. My watch says it's date. Oh good, oh good, I am not late. But there is no one there. The schoolyard is bare. No teacher, no friends, no one anywhere. Hmm. How can this be? It's eight o'clock, I can see. But no teacher, no friends. Just me. Did my teacher not stay? Did my friends move away? Oh, I know why. It's Saturday. Click on the clock showing eight o'clock. That's right. The Loose Tooth by Glynis Campbell. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. It makes me want to giggle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. My tooth is very loose. Uh. Will it come out on Sunday if I chew a stick of gum? Will it come out on Monday if I tap it with my thumb? Will it come out on Tuesday if I eat some toast and jam? Will it come out on Wednesday if I give the door a slam? Will it come out on Thursday while I'm playing hide and seek? Will it come out on Friday? Will it fall at all this week? If it doesn't happen Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, or on Wednesday, or on Thursday, or on Friday, then it's Saturday for sure. I'll wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. I'll give a little tickle. I'll jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. I'll eat a big dill pickle. I'll pull and tug and wriggle. I'll munch on pumpernickel. Nom, 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 nom. Cause Saturday, I'll put my tooth beneath my pillowcase. And Sunday morning, I will find some money in its place. And then I can go shopping if Mommy lets me take her. I know just what I'd like to buy. A peppermint jawbreaker. What letter is missing from this word? That's right. January Seed by Glynis Campbell. Sleeping underneath the January snow, a little black seed waits to grow. February brings more ice and frost, freezing the ground where the seed was tossed. The winds of March begin to blow, but the little seed is safe below. April showers dampen the earth, now the seed prepares for birth. The sunlight of May shines all around. The baby seedling peeks up through the ground. June brings warmth to everyone. The seedling turns up toward the sun. The long afternoons of hot July bring forth a flower reaching for the sky. August brings honeybees buzzing by to pollinate the blossoms as they fly. Cool September slows things down. Now the green plants turning brown. Foggy October blocks the sun. The flower wilts. Its life is done. Crisp November chills the air. The plant is gone. The ground is bare.
cold December shows a good deed. The plant has left behind a seed. Which month is hotter, January or July? January, July. <laughs> you got it! Time for Tom by Glynis Campbell. Ring goes the bell. It's seven o'clock. I'm too sleepy. I'm too sleepy. Tom, get up. You'll be late for school. <laughs> Ring goes the bell. It's eight o'clock. Time for class. Time for class. Tom, raise your hand if you want to speak. Ooh. Ring goes the bell. Now it's 10.30. Yippee, playtime. Yippee, playtime. Tom, no standing on Jason's head. Ow, ow, ouch! Ring goes the bell. It's 12 o'clock. Boy, I'm hungry. Boy, I'm hungry. Tom, get your hands out of Christopher's lunch. Hey. Ring goes the bell. Now it's 1.30. Silent reading, silent reading. Tom, do you know what silent means? Blah, blah, blah. Ring goes the bell. It's 2 o'clock. School's out. I'm free. School's out. I'm free. Tom, don't forget your homework now. <laughs> Ring goes a bell. It's five o'clock. Boy, I'm starving. Boy, I'm starving. Tom, remember to chew your food. Shh. Goes Daddy. It's 8.30. I'm not sleepy. I'm not sleepy. Tom, get back into your own bed. <laughs> Twelve o'clock, midnight snack, midnight snack. Tom, you climb back into bed. That is what my mommy said. Which is the right time to wake up? Twelve o'clock, two o'clock, seven o'clock. <laughs> you got it. A Child versus a Garden by Glynis Campbell. Winter, spring, summer, fall. Seasons circle round us all. Summer, fall, winter, spring. In my garden, growing things. First comes winter's ice and snow. It's too soon for seeds to grow. Flowers freeze and cold winds blow. Winter's not the time to sow. <laughs> Next comes spring and brighter days. April showers, sunny mays, bringing warmth that all plants need. Spring is when I plant the seed. <laughs> Winter, spring, summer, fall. Seasons circle round us all. Summer, fall, winter, spring. In my garden, growing things. <coughs> then comes summer, hot and dry. Not a cloud up in the sky. Now my plant has poked its head up into the flower bed. Fall has come with cooler days, falling leaves and foggy haze. Now at last my plant is finished. Ah, I must have planted spinach. Oh! What season comes after spring, fall, winter, summer? That's right. The Grain Father Clock by Mark Beckwith. Most any clock will keep good time, and there are even some clocks that chime. But do you see the clock by the wall? It is a grandfather clock, the best of them all. Grandfather clock does more than tick-tock. 
He's the only clock that I know that can talk. Do not be scared. Come close. Come near. Just ask the clock for the time and you'll hear. Tick tock. Tick tock. What time is it? Grandfather clock. Long hand on twelve. Short hand on one. It is one o'clock. There's work to be done. What time is it, Grandfather Clock? Long hand on twelve, short hand on two. It's two o'clock. It's nap time for you. Tick tock, tick tock. What time is it, Grandfather Clock? Long hand on six, short hand past three. It is three thirty. Now bring me my tea. Is it, Grandfather Clock? Long hand on six, short hand past four. It is four thirty. Now go do your chore. Grandfather Clock, he can tell time. Grandfather Clock does not need to chime. Grandfather Clock, boy, can he talk. Yes, Grandfather. It's one bossy clock. What time is it when the long hand is on 12 and the short hand is on 2? <laughs> you got it. Well, there we go. We did all the books. Good afternoon. Welcome back. To pick a color, click on a paint blob over there. You can use these tools to help make a picture. Click on any scene. My town. Uh... Click on any sticker. Stickers. Oops, I did not mean to place that tree in the middle there, but okay. Family put some stickers down. <laughs> outer space. Ooh, outer space. That must be Pluto. It's really tiny. Yeah, we'll put Saturn right next to the Earth because I can. And we'll put the sun right on top of it. Well, Earth has probably died now because of that. <laughs> That's the fun of these. You can put them wherever you want. An astronaut on the sun. There we go. Haunted castle. Trying to grab the chandelier. Thank you. Skeleton right there. 
put the cobwebs over here. Oh, we'll put the skeleton right there. There'll be a rat right next to the cat. Oh, they're getting married. Land of dinosaurs. Ooh, what's your favorite dinosaur? I've shared my favorite a few times. But if you did not catch that before in previous Let's Plays, the Triceratops is my favorite dinosaur. Okay. Under the sea. Under the sea. stuck in my head now. And wild jungle. Wild jungle. He's like, what is going on over here? That's a big ant. I'm just saying, if that ant's bigger, oh my gosh, that ant's almost as big as the frog. Something's not right here. I think something's not right, guys. How big are your ants? <laughs> oh my goodness. Click there to go back. Click there to throw your picture away. Click there to save your picture. Good afternoon. Let's listen Welcome to some back. songs. What am I gonna do? What are you gonna do? What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? It'd be cool if I went to school. Got a Try some addition. Say you bought an apple, and I give you zero apples. Now, how many apples have you got? Well, I 
think you know it's easy to show you only have the apple that you bought. Help me out now. One plus zero is one. Good. Two plus zero is two. Real nice. Three plus zero is three. Very good. Cause zero is nothing, you see? Well, I'm not bluffing. Zero is nothing. Zilch, not a not more. Whoa, whoa, something plus nothing. Still that same old something that you had before. Let's do some subtraction. If you had one egg and you gave me no eggs, you know, you wouldn't have any less. No, you wouldn't. But if you broke that egg on top of your leg, then what you'd have is a big, yucky mess. <laughs> Come on now. One minus zero is? One. Wonderful. Two minus zero is? Two. Two, cool. Three minus zero is? Three. All right. Cause zero is nothing, you see? Well, I'm not bluffing. Zero is nothing. Silt, not a not more. Well, you know, something might as nothing. It's still that same old something that you had before. Well, I'm not bluffing. Zero is nothing. Silch, not a not more. Thank you. It was nothing. It was a Sunday when my boat set sail for the islands. And by Monday, I was far out on the open sea. But on Tuesday, the wind was suddenly silent. Then on Wednesday, something strange happened to me. Fish began dancing, dolphins were prancing, tuna sway to and fro. The whales sang a song and the seagulls clapped along in the ocean. They put on a show. It was amazing. So on Thursday, I turned my boat toward the mainland. And by Friday, I was back out on the open sea. Then on Saturday, I was home, but never the same man, no. Cause what happened there was so fantastic to me. Fish began dancing, dolphins were prancing, tuna swayed to and fro. The whales sang a song and the seagulls clapped along in the ocean, they put on a show. The fish began dancing, dolphins were prancing, tuna swayed to and fro. The whales sang a song and the seagulls clapped along in the ocean, they put on a show. How it happened, I'll never know. This was my favorite song. If you were my friend, if you were my friend, I would try to cheer you up whenever you're sad. If you were my friend, if you were my friend, we would always talk things through so we won't be mad. If you were my friend, I'd be a 
feeling lucky, lucky, lucky boy. I'd look forward to the time I'd spend with you. If you were my friend, I'd be a lucky, lucky, lucky girl. Cause things are so much fun when there are two. If you were my friend, if you were my friend, in the cafeteria, I'd save you a seat. How about this one? If you were my friend, if you were my friend, I'd share my lunch with you, even my treat. If you were my friend, I'd be a lucky, lucky, lucky boy. I'd look forward to the time I'd spend with you. If you were my friend, I'd be a lucky, lucky, lucky girl. Cause things are so much fun when there are two. Carrot and orange fruit. I'm a carrot. Sweet as fruit. I'm a carrot. Let me emphasize, I'm a carrot. Good for the eyes. I'm a carrot. A carrot. Have me for dinner sometime. I got plenty of good old vegetable vitamin A bunches. You can't go wrong if you have me every day. What do you say? I'm a carrot. Carrot, I'm a carrot, the wonder root of lettuce. I'm soft and green and I'm lettuce. A fine cuisine, I'm lettuce. Leaf or head, I'm lettuce. Just chop or shred, I'm lettuce. Lettuce, have me for dinner some time. I got plenty of good old vegetable vitamin B. I'm the best day. This is so easy to see, easy to see, lettuce, lettuce, I am lettuce. You know, we put down a pretty good beat. Yeah, why don't we get together and form a band? 
What will we call it? How about salad? All right. But what will we wear? Why, dressing, of course. <laughs> <laughs> salad, can you hear our crunch? Salad, let's all munch. Salad, we're lean and keen. Salad, orange, red, and green. Salad, salad, have us for dinner sometime. Oh, yeah! We got plenty of vitamin A, B, and C. What a team! We're not bad once you get to know me. 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 Salad. Salad. We are salad. 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 We are salad. You got your vegetable A, B, C. your favorite let's play the master memory game All right, let's to play this. match the picture in one box to its name in another to start click on any square welcome back ladies and gentlemen our player is only 30 points away from winning a brand new reading cap Ooh. see if you can collect them all okay to start this game is now at Level one. Click there. To start, click on any All right, king. Let's do a level one. Six. Close. Try again. No. King and six. Uh-uh. Horn. Oven. Close. Try again. Horn. Horn. <laughs> you got it. Blue. Blue. <laughs> you got it. One. Six. Close. Try again. Six. Six. That's right. King. King. Great job. Oh, boy. Oven. Oven. That's right. One. One. Wow. You got them all.
Let's play again. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Our player is only 25 points away oh, from winning. Okay, okay. Let's this try game is now medium. This game is now at level 1. No, I want This game is now at level 1. Click there to make this game easier. Click there to leave this game the same. Click there to make this game harder. Oh, let's play the master memory game. There we go. To play, match the picture in one box to its name in another. To start, click on monkey. Okay, monkey. Doll. Mm -hmm. Close. Try again. Nickel. Bunny. Close. Try again. Grass. Monkey. Not that one. Bunny. Nickel. Close. Try again. Nickel. Nickel. That's right. Doll. Yellow. Not that one. Monkey. Monkey. Great job. Oh, boy. Bunny. Bunny. <laughs> you got it. Grass. Doll. Close. Try again. Grass. Grass. Great job. Oh, boy. Doll. Doll. <laughs> you got it. Yellow. Yellow. Wow. You got them all. This game is now at level two. Let's play the master memory game. Okay. To play, thumb, zero. zero? No. Not that one. Thumb, thumb. Great job, oh boy. Mouth, mouth. <laughs> you got it. Chair, yellow. Not that one. Yellow, yellow. Great job, oh boy. Chair, chair. That's right. Zero, zero. <laughs> you got it. Ocean, ocean. Congratulations. You just won a brand new reading cap. Oh, cool. We got another one. Click on the cap that you want to take. Um. Ooh. These are all so cool. Oh, I want this one. You now have two reading caps. There are 30 in all. See if you can collect them all. Let's play the master memory game. This game is now at level three. Click. The game is already as hard as it can be. Okay, so three Let's play levels. the master. Good afternoon. Ooh, welcome, the mouse, the welcome mouse. to the Hole in the Wall Club. You can tell the band what instruments to use and what song to play. Or you can record and play your own song. Come back when you've won 100 points. Then I'll let you take one of my fantastic milk caps. Guitars. Okay. Hickory dickory dock. <laughs> Trumpets. O Old MacDonald. The little house just says nose. <laughs> Flutes, the itsy bitsy spider. Ooh.
violins. The wheels on the bus. Voices. It's raining, it's pouring. La 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 Good afternoon. Welcome back. If you want to play with me, click on my picture. Click on this picture to play with a friend. Let's play the TikTok game. We both start here, and the first one to reach 9 o'clock p.m. wins. To start, click on the clock. 9 o'clock a.m. That's right, you got it. It's my turn. I know that. It's your turn now. 11.30 a.m. That's right. You got it. Now it's my turn. I know that. It's your turn now. 1 o'clock p.m. That's right, you got it. Now it's my turn. I'll guess that the clock says 11 o'clock a.m. Oops, <laughs> guess I was wrong. The clock is showing 10 o'clock a.m. It's your turn now. 2.30 p.m. That's right, you got it. Now it's my turn. I know that. It's your turn now. 5.30 p.m. That's right. You got it. Now it's my turn. I know that. It's your turn now. 7.30 p.m. That's right. You got it. Now it's my turn. I'll guess that the clock says 3 o'clock p.m. Oops. <laughs> guess I was wrong. The clock is showing 1.30 p.m. It's your turn. 9 o'clock p.m. Oh, That's wait, wait. right. You got it. Good job. You win. I'll get you next time. It's your turn now. Good afternoon. Ooh, my report card. Good afternoon. Welcome back. Just so many questions. The hard ones are the best ones. She's helpful and she's smart. Mrs. Flores. Hi there. I'm Mrs. Flores, your teacher. I'm so glad that you're in my class. Okay. I think that's everything in this room. Let's do, ooh, lunch room. This pickle. We have got to hurry, there's so much to do. Lunch to make and things to bake for all of you. Oh my, there are so many things to do. Won't you be a dear and help me feed all of the children? You can help at the food line, the cash register, or in the kitchen. Or help Frankie get a treat from the vending machine.
Can you help me buy three things from the vending machine? Please, please, I want a sandwich. First, click on the button on the vending machine that's in front of the food. Please deposit 50 cents. You 25 cents. Yummy, yummy, a sandwich. <laughs> wow, just teleport please, to your Please, house? I want a pear. Please deposit 13 cents, 10 cents, 11 cents, 12 cents. Yummy, yummy, a pear. <laughs> please, please, I want popcorn. Please deposit 23 cents, 10 cents, 20 cents, 21 cents. 22 cents. Yummy, yummy. Popcorn. <laughs> please, please. I want a candy bar. This game is now. Can you help me buy three things from the vending machine? Please, please. I want cheese puffs. First, pl please deposit. 37 cents. Use exact change. 25 cents. 30 cents. 35 cents. 36 cents. Yummy, yummy. Cheese puffs. <laughs> please, please. I want a lollipop. Please deposit 11 cents. 10 cents. Yummy, yummy, a lollipop. Uh. Excuse me. Please, please, I want pretzels. Please deposit 31 cents. Use exact change. 10 cents, 20 cents. Error, you mm. have entered too much money. Much. 25 cents. Error. You have entered oh. too much money. Okay. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30 cents. Yummy, yummy. Pretzels. <laughs> Please, please, I... This game... Can you help me buy three things from the vending machine? Please, please, I want a banana. First, click on the button... Please deposit 14 cents. Use exact change. Here. Five cents. Error. You have entered too much money. 14 cents? 10 cents. Error, you have entered the too much money. Oh, change. Oh, my goodness. Why did I not see this? I was thinking, no way is this going to work. Um, here, break this down to some pennies for me, please. Thank you. 10 cents, 11 cents, 12 cents, 13 cents. Yummy, yummy. A banana. <laughs> Please, please, I want... Please deposit 16 cents, 5 cents, 10 cents, 11 cents, 12 cents, 13 cents, 14 cents, 15 cents. Yummy, yummy, corn chips. <laughs> please, please, I want a bagel. Please deposit 45 cents. Using 25, 30 cents, 35 cents, 40 cents. Forty one, forty two, forty three, forty four cents. Yummy, yummy, a bagel. <laughs> Please, 
please. This game, the game is already a please, please. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, this is the song. I'm a carrot. An orange fruit. I'm a carrot. This is the salad song we yes, heard. Fruit. I'm a carrot. Please help me by entering the correct total for each customer. First, click on each food item to ring it up. Then, enter the correct total using my number buttons. When the total is correct, press the big yellow button. You win when you have satisfied five customers. Lasagna, 41 cents. Carrots, 22 cents. Please enter the correct total. Correct. Next in line. Cheeseburger, 40 cents. Peas, 18 cents. Please. Correct. Next in line, burritos, 45 cents, salad, 21 cents, Pl correct. Next in line, burritos, 45 cents, corn, 23 cents. Please enter the correct total, correct. Next in line, carrots, 22 cents, fish sticks, 34 cents. Please enter the correct total. Correct. Great job. You just won five math points. Ooh, five math points. Please help me by entering. This game is harder. now. Please help me by entering the correct total for each customer. Spaghetti and meatballs, 53 cents. Carrots, 22 cents. Please enter the correct total. Correct. Next in line, hot dog, 23 cents. Pasta, 25 cents. Please enter the correct total. Correct. Next in line, lasagna, 41 cents. Peas, 18 cents. Please enter. Correct. Next in line, chicken, 58 cents. Salad, 21 cents. Please enter the correct total. Correct. Next in line, grilled cheese sandwich, 26 cents. Carrots, 22 cents. Please and Correct. Great job. You just won 10 math points. Congratulations! You just won a brand new math cap. Ooh! Click on the cap that you want to take. Click on the left and right arrows to see more caps. Cool cat. Oh, the little alien looking thing. Looks like something from The Muppet Show. Aliens. Hmm. I love dolphins. I'm gonna pick the dolphin. You now have one math cap. There are 30 in all. See if you can collect them all. Please help me by entering the correct total. This game is- Please help me by entering the correct total for each customer. Cheeseburger, 40 cents. Baked. Potato, 30 cents. Please enter the correct total. Correct. Next in line. Pizza, 32 cents. 
corn, 23 cents. Please enter the correct total. Correct. Next in line, apple pie, 12 cents. Spaghetti and meatballs, 53 cents. Baked potato, 30 cents. Please enter the correct total. Correct. Next in line, ice cream, 10 cents. Pizza, 32 cents. Corn, 23 cents. Please enter the correct total. Correct. Next in line, Jello, four cents. Pizza, 32 cents. Salad, 21 cents. Please enter the correct total. Correct. Great job. You just won 15 math points. Please help me by en You've got to give the kids exactly what they ask for. See how many kids you can serve before the timer runs out. Ready, set, go! One third tray of jello. Please give me one third tray of asparagus. Please give me one third tray of chicken. Thank you. One third tray of pudding. Please give me one third tray of string bean. Please give me one third. Thank you. One quarter tray of cookies. Please give me one half tray. Please give me one. Thank you. Please give me, please give me, one quarter, please give me, please give me, thank you. Please give me, one quarter tray, please give me, one quarter, please give me, one, thank you. Wow, great job. You served five kids. You deserve a big tip. Let's try again. This game is now at... You've got to give the kids exactly what they ask for. Ready, set, go! Please give me one half tray of... One half tray of... Salad, thank you. Please give me a whole tray of... Thank you. Whole tray of strawberries. A whole tray of chicken. Thank you. That's a lot of chicken. Please give me one third. Please give me one. Please give me one. Thank you. One quarter tray of. Please give me one quarter. Please give me. Thank you. Please give me. One third, one third tray, one third tray of, thank you. Please give me, please give me, thank you. Please give me, one quarter tray of, one half. Wow, great job. You served seven kids. You deserve a big tip. Let's try again. Right, this game is... Harder. You've got to give the kids exactly what they ask for. Ready, set, go! One third tray of ice cream. One third tray of please give me thank you. One quarter tray of salad. One half tray of one quarter tray of thank you. One half tray of one half tray of thank you. 
Please give me one. Please give me. Thank you. One half tray of. One quarter tray of. One quarter tray. Thank you. Please give me one quarter tray. Please give me one half tray of. One quarter tray of. Thank you. One third tray up. Please give me one third tray up. One third tray up. Thank you. Wow! Great job! You served seven kids. You deserve a big tip. Let's try again. Ready? Mama Mia! Is that the same? To try again. Oh, wait, is that? Mama okay. Mia, we've got to fill all of these pizza orders. Okay, we got to fill the pizza orders. Ready, set, go. We need a large pizza with worms, mushrooms, pepperoni, and olives. Uh, with worms? The children are hungry. What? Uh, that smells wrong. That's right. There we go. <laughs> we need a large pizza. You got it. <laughs> we need a large pizza with worms. You got it. <laughs> we need a large pizza. Yummy, yummy, yummy. <laughs> Time's up. You got four pizzas. What a pizza picker. Ready? This game. Mama Mia. We've got to fill all of these pizza orders. Ready, set, go. We need a small pizza with mushrooms, pepperoni, olives, and flies. Nope, that's not the one. That's right. There we, go. <laughs> we need a large pizza with worms, mushrooms, and flies. Yummy, yummy, yummy. <laughs> we need a large pizza with mushrooms, pepperoni. Yummy, yummy, yummy. I don't think that's so yummy. We need a large pizza with worms, mush, yummy, yummy, yummy. You're reading kids' books? We need a large pizza. You got it. We need a small pizza. Time's up. You got five pizzas. Great job. Ready? This game. Mama Mia! We've got to fill all of these pizza orders. Ready, set, go! We need a large pizza. You got it! <laughs> we need a large pizza with pepper. You got it! <laughs> we need a small pizza with worms, mushrooms, pepperoni, olives, and flies. That's right. <laughs> we need a large pizza with, that's right. <laughs> we need a large pizza, that's right. <laughs> we need a small pizza with worms, yummy, yummy, yummy. <laughs> We need a small pizza. You got it. <laughs> Time's up. You got seven pizzas. Great job. Ready, set, go. This game, the game is all ready. Okay. Ooh. 
Hey, it's Mario! <laughs> it's the Mario Bros. <laughs> See, red cap? I think that was a little hint. <laughs> hey, it's that monster from Ghostbusters. We've got a lot of things to cook for Miss Pickles. I'll help by reading each ingredient. Put the right amount of each ingredient into the top of the cooking machine. When all of the ingredients are in the machine, click on the big red button. You'll win points if the recipe comes out okay. Let's make some banana bread. Okay, we need one cup of flour, one fourth cup of sugar, okay, teaspoons of baking powder. One fourth teaspoon of salt, a banana, two tablespoons of milk, and two eggs. That looks perfect. You must have taken cooking lessons. Let's make some bagels. Okay, bagel time. One fourth cup sugar. We need sugar. First, click one fourth cup sugar. Four cups of flour. One cup of water. One tablespoon of yeast. Perfecto. Let's make some donuts. Okay, three cups of flour, one fourth teaspoon of nutmeg, one fourth teaspoon of salt, two teaspoons of baking powder, or I'm sorry, baking soda. One half cup of sugar. Oh no! Uh -oh. The glop monster! Oh no! Oh. Oh no! Let's make some gingerbread. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> well, sorry if we you wanted some donuts. Sugar. I grabbed the First, wrong thing. Click on I'm the sorry. One quarter cup. Oh, well, that was kind then of cool. click on okay. the one sugar. fourth cup of sugar. Okay, one cup of flour. One half teaspoon of ginger. Let's make some fudge. Okay, one half cup milk. Looks perfect. You must have taken cooking lessons. Let's make some brownies. Okay, one fourth cup chocolate. Perfect. 
Pinto. Let's make some chocolate chip cookies. Chocolate chips and two eggs. Now my mouth is really watering. Let's make some peanut butter cookies. Bon Appetito! Let's make some vanilla ice cream. Tablespoons of vanilla. That looks yummy. Let's make some chocolate mousse. I love chocolate mousse, it's one of my favorite things ever. One half cup of chocolate. Now my mouth is really watering. Let's make some pretzels. Looks perfect. You must have taken cooking lessons. Congratulations. You just won a brand new reading cap. Ooh. Click on the cap that you want to take. Click on the left and right arrows to see more. I'll take zip. You now have three reading caps. There are 30 in all. See if you can collect them all. We've got a lot of things to cook for Miss Pickles. Let's make some pretzels. Again, we just made some pretzels. I'm gonna purposely mess this one up so we can get to the next recipe. If that's all right with you guys. Oh no, the glop monster. <laughs> Let's make some muffins. There we go. All right, half cup of sugar. Two teaspoons of baking powder. Okay, two cups of 
flour, just like so, a cup of milk, an egg, one fourth cup of cooking oil. <laughs> That looks perfect. You must have taken cooking lessons. Let's make some waffles. Bon appetito! Let's make some caramel corn. Perfecto! Let's make some peanut butter bars. Now my mouth is really watering. Let's make some banana bread. All right, we did all of the ingredients. I think we did all the games here, too. All right, let's go to sports. Everyone's having fun on the playground. Wait, was there anything I could click on? Or... Okay, wait, I want to go to... It sure is sunny okay. today. Oh, she got stuck. Oh no. Let's play math marbles. Right, you have to shoot marbles. out the marbles that don't belong in the answer. First, click on the hand and then drag it left or right. When the hand is lined up with the marble that you want to knock away, click the mouse again. When the answer to the equation is correct, you win all the marbles that are to the right of the equal sign. You win when you have five marbles. Nine plus eight. Great job. You now have two marbles, zero. Minus zero is great job. Zero. You now have four marbles. Zero plus zero. Wow, you just won five math points. Let's play again. This game is let's play math marbles. You have to shoot out the marbles that don't belong in the answer. Four minus two. Great job. You now have two marbles. Two plus three. Great job. You now have four marbles. Seven minus zero. Great job! You now have six marbles. Zero plus zero. 
Great job. You now have nine marbles. Eight plus seven. Wow, you just won ten math points. Let's play again. This game. Let's play math marbles. You have to shoot out the marbles that don't belong in the answer. Three plus seven. Great job. You now have two marbles. Seven minus one. Great job. You now have four marbles. Nine minus seven. Great job. You now have seven marbles. Seven minus four. Great job. You now have nine marbles. Seven minus zero. Wow, you just won 15 math points. Congratulations, you just won a brand new math cap. Oh, okay, let's see. Click on the cap that you want to take. Click on the left and right. Okay, I really want the ocean. Take you now one. have two math caps. There are... 30 in all. See if you can collect them all. Thank Let's you. play math marble. My, what a beautiful day. Let's play the milk cap game. It's your turn. Click on the stack with your slammer. Wow, four caps turned over. Click on the cap that you want to take. Click on the red-haired kid if you want to go on. Click on the answer to this question. If you were reading a map, what color would water be? Correct. Wow, you just won 10 points. Click on the answer to this question. I come after January and before March. What month am I? That's right. Wow, you just won 10 points. Click on yes if this sentence is true. Click on no if it is not true. We get milk from a cow. Correct. Wow, you just won 10 points. Click on the answer to this question. I come after February and be... That's right. Wow, you just won 10 points. Now it's the other kid's turn. One, cap turned over. It's your turn. Zero. Caps turned over. Now it's the other kid's turn. Zero. Caps turned over. It's your turn. Cool. One. Ca Click on the word that is the opposite of big, little. Correct. Wow. You just won 10 points. All the caps in the stack have been won. Let's play again. That was fun. Everyone's having fun on the playground. How do you like my house? I've got a lot of great stuff. I just can't remember where everything is. Can you help me find the three numbers that I buried? Now, where did I bury that 52? The, the number buried here has the numeral one in the ones place. The number buried here has the numeral two in the ones place. Oh, I hope you found it. <laughs> yep, that's it. Now, where did I bury that 95? The number buried here has the numeral one. 
the number buried here has the numeral five in the one. Oh, I hope you found it. <laughs> yep, that's it. Now, where did I bury that 51? Oh, I hope you found it. <laughs> yep, that's it. Wow, you're amazing. You found all of the numbers. Can you help me? On the road again. To tell the bus where to go, click on the green arrows on the steering wheel. The picture of the bus on the map will move each time you click the arrow for north, south, west, or east. West, north, north, east. Here we go. Click on the answer to this question. <laughs> you got it! Click on the box that shows the right way to count by fives. 15, 20, 20. That's right! The sea breeze is salty. Click on anything to see what happens, or click on the radio to play a song. Click on anything to see what happens. I love to take field trips. To tell the bus where to go, click on the green arrow. North, west, north, west. That looks like a great way to go. You're some navigator. Click on the answer to this riddle. That's right. Click on yes if this sentence is true. Correct. I love to take field trips to Good afternoon. Welcome back. Well everyone, that wraps up this video of Jumpstart First Grade. I certainly hope you enjoyed. Be sure to give the video a thumbs up, leave a comment down below telling me how you liked it and subscribe for more nostalgic gaming. Remember, you are special and loved. You are never alone. Tick You're always tock, welcome to come tock. hang out anytime. Try on the silly clock. So until the next video, God bless, and I'll see y'all later. Bye-bye, everyone. Jump, jump.